Hi, this is Robin Heppel from Funeral Futures Websites, and this is a special video just for our website clients talking about how we can offer you the best and most timely support for your website. Now, there are three ways to contact us for support for your website. The first way, and actually the quickest way that we can get notified is through our support form at funeralfutures.com forward slash support. Just fill out the form that's on that page, uh, enter in that information, and please be as detailed as possible for the issues that uh, you're experiencing, and press the submit button. What happens there is that that goes into our system, and actually, depending on what you check off, it will go to the specific departments of those people who can best help you and help you the quickest. The next option is sending us an email to our support at funeralfutures.com email address. Now I know some of you send the emails directly to me or directly to other members of the team, but again, if you use this email address, it will then get forwarded to different members of the team. Uh, just like when you're receiving emails into the funeral home, you wanna make sure that they get centralized and not get left in someone's inbox that doesn't see it for a number of hours. So um, again, the, the best way is to use a support form at funeralfutures.com forward slash support. But if you want to send an email, please send the email to support at funeralfutures.com. And again, that can get rooted then to the direct people that will be looking after that. Uh, the third one is our telephone support. And so we have a 24 hour toll free number, uh, 1-800. 810-3595 and at the end of the message just leave uh, a detailed message of what the issues are uh, again that will um, come into our administration and support email but uh, it does take a little bit longer but just looking at these three uh, the more urgent your issue the more I would highly recommend just using the support form on the website at funeralfutures.com forward slash support and no matter what way that you contact us, whether uh, if you don't use a support form and you just send us an email or or leave a, a voicemail, uh, we will actually fill out the form for you so that it gets categorized in our system. So we can do that for you and you'll get an email response with that as well. So uh, if you do send an email or send or leave a voicemail, uh, we'll, still, we'll still fill out the form once we get your message. But again, the quickest way is to fill out the form immediately. Now what I want to do is show you our uh, levels of support and how we work internally to best serve you and serve our other Funeral Futures website clients. So what we've done is we've created four separate support levels and then assigned them specific response times and actions. The first, the first support level is the critical level. The response time is immediate and on our end uh, the action is for us whoever gets that first to stop everything and address and fix the problem the next level of support is urgent and that response time will be within two hours and what we do internally is we just complete the current tasks that we're doing and then we'll tend to the support issue the third support level is just a normal issue and we will get that looked after for you within 48 hours of receiving your request. And once we do that, we usually schedule that for the following day to make sure that it's completed within the 48 hour window. But also, uh, if we're just wrapping things up towards the end of the day, uh, we'll try to get it done uh, within that first day. And then sometimes we receive uh, upgrade or new feature requests and what we do is we then uh, uh, list these, put them on the agenda for our next weekly meeting, and we have a client-wide wish list that we add things to. And then what we'll do is after we receive that and after we talk about it, we'll get back to you to let you know um, how we're going to tackle that or if we have any other alternatives or solutions for you. Now to go through these in just a little bit more detail, we'll look at each one of the support levels. So for the critical one, uh, an example would be that the website is down, uh, there, the website's been compromised by a virus or malware, maybe somehow, some weird way, there's profanity on your homepage, uh, or 
maybe there's a non-client induced issue. So maybe something from our end that we've done and it's affected your website. And again, we're gonna stop everything that we're doing and get on that and fix that for you right away. Now the next level is the urgent level. An, ex an example of this would be a, a client induced issues where they've added or deleted some important piece of information or content or images on the site. Uh, maybe there's blatant misspellings. Uh, maybe you need a post to be recovered that was accidentally deleted. Also, maybe there were some development deficiencies, deficiencies that we missed, such as the uh, prearrangement pages not forwarding to the correct email address, the telefriend forms aren't working correctly, or there's images uh, that aren't uploading for the client. Then what we do is we just complete what we're currently working on and get to this support issue uh, then, and we'll make sure that uh, uh, we respond to you within a couple hours but also we'll probably have it resolved by the end of the day. The third support level is the normal level. And this is where uh, maybe someone submitted some site edits or they want additions to their staff pages, they want new title tags, additional pages or posts. What we do internally is schedule one or two hours per day to deal with these issues like that. We check in in the morning and we also uh, work on those before signing off in the evening as well. So what we do is once we receive it, we schedule it. But if it's just a small little fix that we can do immediately within two or three minutes, um, subscribing to the um, the getting it done philosophy, uh, we'll just we'll just go in, log in, get that issue resolved to you, complete the task, let you know about it, and uh, we'll just move on to our next thing. So a lot of the times, even though we do use this 48-hour window. Um, we get those issues resolved for you a lot quicker than that. And then the last one is the upgrade or the new feature request. Uh, what this is, is we get lots of great feedback from clients like you and about new features. So we just work through that. We, uh, we see if, if it's going to be something that's very custom to your own situation, where there might be a fee associated with that. If it's something that we can actually work on that will benefit everyone, and this has come up a few times, uh, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that that gets implemented and let everyone know about it if they want it integrated into their sites. So we just uh, talk about it at our weekly meeting, discuss it, talk about its viability, and then we'll also they'll get back to you to let you know uh, how we're gonna deal with that, or also I'll maybe offer you some alternatives that could get you up and going right away uh, in a particular area and then we can have a, uh, a more well-rounded solution or a more specific solution for you uh, upcoming uh, that we could share with everyone so that you don't have to uh, bear the burden of, of having to pay for a custom feature on your website. So I just wanted to share with you kind of our support process so that you know what's happening once you fill out a form, uh, send us an email, or uh, leave a voicemail on our support telephone line. And also, too, just to remind you of the different Funeral Futures client exclusives that we offer, such as our uh, virtual office hours, uh, discounts on CU training sessions, discounts on training programs that I do with other uh, leaders within the industry, uh, quarterly strategy sessions for the gold and elite concierge clients, and also, too, if you're interested, ask about our Funeral Market Domination Program. Thanks a lot for being a Funeral Futures Websites client. This is Robin Heppel.